Good morning, everyone. I'm David with Guns.com. Today we're talking about the Ruger SR22, their new polymer and aluminum framed 22 long rifle. And this gun is interesting. It's a new offering for Ruger. I've shot a lot of Ruger 22s in my time, most of which are a lot heavier, a lot larger, more traditional. This one is a new offering. They're labeling it with their SR title, but the reality is that it's an all new beast. It has the polymer frame, the barrel, which in this case is uh, stainless, is fixed inside the frame. It does not come out quite as easily as most would. It does come out, but it takes some work to get it out. It has a safety. It also has the slide release like you would expect. Now, this gun right here is currently completely empty. I'm holding the magazine in my hand. It is a 10 round magazine. As an automatic in the SR line, it differs from the rest of the SR pistol significantly. As a 22 automatic, it functions like you would expect most double action pistols to function. The safety, which is ambidextrous, is the opposite of a 1911 safety. Double action or single action, you can take it manually operated if you'd like, or as the blowback operation happens, it'll leave that hammer cocked for you. So the only other thing that I would say right now is that this is my favorite feature. A lot of gun companies are doing this now. They're moving their grip panels into a replaceable modular system to where those of us with bigger hands don't have any difficulty at all holding on to the smaller pistols. The sleeve right here, though it's rather complex, slides completely off back on, off and on, however you'd like. And there's another one that's much narrower in its back taper, so it fits the smaller hands neatly. The gun is reasonably small, as you can see. It is not necessarily a defensive weapon, though it could be used as a defensive weapon in last resort, I would imagine. Uh, this is mainly designed for having fun, plinking, for doing a little target shooting. Uh, sights on it, fully adjustable. As you can see here, you have the two-dot back sight, the one dot front, reasonably good sight radius between, probably four and a half inches. I'll have to do my math and actually check on that. The barrel itself is a stout piece of steel housed inside the aluminum slide, which rides on the poly polymer frame. Trigger itself, relatively crisp in the double action mode, fairly heavy. Somewhere between 8 and 11 pounds is what I have read. What I see in reality with this one is that it's, it's probably breaking around 10. This trigger right here in the single action, a lot better. Closer to 5. Let's take it down range and see what it is capable of doing. The Ruger SR-22. As you can see, it locks back at the end. Part of what I like about this is the very positive ejection of these shells. The shells are kicked up and to the right, uh, a little bit forward of where you're actually standing, so it doesn't throw them back in your face, which is really nice. Now then, I wasn't actually aiming at the target that time. I was aiming a little bit left so you could see what I was doing. Uh, let's see what it does printing on paper. There. One thing about the SR-22 that is worthy of mentioning is that as an automatic it will not cycle the low noise ammunition. I've got some Remington in here right now and this is a reasonably good way to practice working the slide. If nothing else, what you've got is a system that will work well And it's actually in. You get your practice working the slide, but it won't actually cycle it. 
But it's nice every now and then just to be able to shoot the small stuff. And to the left. Now I was firing reasonably fast there. <laughs> 